I want to tell you a story of my life. It goes back to when I was a child and my mother abandoned us and she ran off and she left me. And that's when all the abandonment and hurt started in my life. And it kept piling up. When my mother committed suicide, I realized that I would never reclaim that relationship with her again. And it stuck with me. I never mourned her death. But you see, in all good stories, there was my grandmother. And she loved me. And she prayed for me. And she taught me about this wonderful God, this wonderful Jesus. I never quite understood that. I never understood what she meant by um, her God or this loving God, because I knew no love because of the hurt that I'd received. It wasn't until years later that I finally understood that love. See, it wasn't until after her death that I spiraled out of control, living on the streets with my two children and addicted to crack cocaine, cocaine, alcohol, and whatever else I could use to numb the pain. That I realized that this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I was supposed to be in my life. And I called out to this God of my grandmother. And he came. And he gave me clarity and helped me to see who I truly was and what I was truly living in. And that's when I asked for help from my family. And I'll never forget the day that I told my father that I was an addict. And I watched this man break down and cry. I didn't understand the hurt that I'd caused him. I checked into a Christian rehab shortly after. And three days later, after checking in, I said, Okay, God, if you are this wonderful God, as my grandmother said you are, then I'm going to give it a shot. And I accepted him into my life. I will never forget that day. Because after that day, he started working and breaking me down and helping me to understand the hurts and the pain that I had received all my life and that he had always been there for me. You see, I am a sinner saved by grace, by the grace of God, through his act of giving his only son. I was able to receive that grace and was able to be cleared of my sin and transformed into this new being. The being of love and restoration, of healing, of love like never before. You see, I am a living testimony of God's grace. And it wasn't for me, but it was for Him. And so today I live for Him and I do things for Him. And I am now going to be an ordained pastor soon. And that to me is incredible. Because I went from a homeless crack addict to soon to be an ordained pastor. That is a miracle in itself. And if he can do this in my life, I can just imagine what he can do in yours.